And guys, we're back with the house in Pata Morgana, a rec room for innocence. Last time, uh, Jacopo became the lord, and G Gandalf taught, taught him how to be a lord. <laughs> he looks like Gandalf, with a 3D CG nose. Like, he's not on screen right now, so like, it, the, the joke doesn't work, but anyway. Title theme song is playing right now, which is interesting, but let's get started. The lord's manor sat atop a tall hill. Gazing out, the city stretched before me. Countless columns of smoke rising from the buildings. The people scurrying about like so many ants. The mob here had a perfect view of the bustle of the city. But it's too far away to feel the life breathing through it. I think I used to be like one of those tiny little specks. Thousands of people lived here. Lived there. They had families, jobs, friends, hobbies. As much as I was cognizant of that fact, I no longer grasped it on anything more than a conceptual level. It's incredible just how much my view of the world has changed in nearly a year's time. Oh yeah, it's been a year. Two years left. I'm gonna go out into the world, I said. Now that clawing my way to the top of the ladder would let me see it. Would let me experience it. Now with power, I have the whole world at my fingertips. But reality wasn't so simple. It sure isn't what I was looking for. Heck, I felt like the chains just got in tighter. Right on my neck. There's no way to truly grasp the view from the site without climbing up and seeing it for yourself. That was exactly where I was a year ago, blind to the reality of life in the upper e echelon. Echelons or echelons? Not sure. Fantasizing about a world that didn't exist. Unlike the me of the past, I did have the satisfaction of feeling like I was accomplishing big things. But was that really worth cutting myself off from all my friends? Did those achievements really justify a bloody revolution? Or I suppose I should ask, is this work valuable enough to me to justify it all? Reminiscing about days long gone wasn't going to help anything, and in fact, it only served to cause me pain. I couldn't return to that time. This was where my quest for power had brought me, and I had, now I had to live out my days as lord of this land. Telling myself day after day, it was far better than being a powerless lone man. Yeah, I've been so busy these past few weeks. My eyes are. One day I'll show you the world. Hey, Moriana. You ever get tired of saying that? You gotta think big. Dream. The world's changing all around us. Life just fighting to make it by day by day is hardly a life at all. I... I don't want to spend the rest of my days confined to this tiny little corner of the world. Well, try not to let your dreams grow so big they crush you. Sure, I'll be fine. Just have you... Just... I'll just have you sing for me if it ever gets to be overwhelming. Why would I be there? Why wouldn't you? It's hard to show you the world if I don't bring you with me. Knowing you, you still won't know where you want to go. So I'll bring you with me. We can find a place for you together. Pretty good deal, huh? I don't need to see the world. All I want is... Dozed off for a second there. Feels like those days were an eternity ago. I don't need to see the world. All I want is... All you want is what? Morgana. What were you trying to tell me? Oh! There the scene changed. What's a friend? Oh, are we going to see Gradian? Or Maria? One of them. Man, it feels like a whole different place here now. You think? Looks like the same... Wait, these guys have names? Paul and Teal? Looks like the same old nasty dump it's always been. Nicola. He's talking about the whole city, adult. Exactly. Things are up on the up and up in the city proper. We ain't seen a scrap of it down here. Except with that. All the new shops are spilling out past the city border. That way into town's turned into a whole full, whole full blown bazaar. Oh, sounds nice. Is there anything in that dang head of yours? Or saying how come we're still living like rats if they got spare corn to build all that market space? Heck, with all these dang. Dang immigrants coming in. The slums are even a bigger, uh... How do you guy... Mm, or even a bigger, uh... You know, b before. Yeah, there we go. Never, never thought of it much show now. But you're right. Things went a lot busier lately with all the drifters. And Jacopo, or Lord Barnier, ain't showed his mug down here even once since he took over. And I get that the bloody lord can't spend all day hanging out in the slums. We could at least visit. Instead, he's spending all the time buttoning up with the, buddying up with the rich folks. 
We used to be such good friends, too. Whatever he's planning to just not bother with us at all. I hope not. Let's just share what it looks looking like. You think he'd at least throw us a bone rather than letting the merchants and upper class take coin bets in the, his coffees. Guess when he became one of them, he began just like them, too. Feels like we're in the exact same place we were a year ago. It's no different than the old barn here. Are we, is, Gra is Grady narrating? Well, he's not gonna narrate probably. Like, is he the focal point of this scene? Psst, psst. Yeah, I don't, oh, it's you. So you find anything? Slovenly man? What's Sloven mean? That's not a wor real word. Sloven. Slovenia. That's a country I did not know exist. Id. A person who is habitually messy or careless. It's a noun and it's dated. It's late 15th century. That word didn't exist back then, Fata Morgana. Come on. Well, Fata Morgana's like diction is not like as archaic as it would as it should be, I guess. Is that the right word? Oh, let's pretend it is. And I think I think that's just intentional. Like, nobody wants to read like a Shakespeare script with all like the old English. But if you'd be so kind as to never give me a job like this again. And be hanged thrice over if the nobles found out I was sniffing around in their business. I'll quit being such a baby. You didn't steal nothing or kill anyone, you're fine. A man's secrets could sometimes be worth more than his life. But on to business. Your suspicions are correct. Huh. Well, freak me sideways. Here's your pay. Take it and go away. Nice doing business. Hey, hold up now. Just me next to get that for you. This is all I get in return? Got a problem with that? Well, like, you gotta talk to him with respect. Pay him his money. Come on, Grodian. No, sir. Don't you worry. You'll get your fair due shortly. Wonder what he asked for. This construction costs are really starting to pile up. Can't we put the manor repairs off until we've taken care of more pressing matters? Like using that money to help the poor. The Lord and his residents are the face of his land. You wish for the city to continue thriving upon the fruits of your relationships your relationships with the surrounding realms? We must maintain a minimum level of respectability, my lord. Merchants in particular are merc merciless judges of appearance. Of this you can be certain. No respectable merchant will do business on equal terms with a city whose lord refuses to take care of his own home. I get that, but still. So much money. These are necessary expenses. To acquire the resources required to aid the lower class, we must increase the rate of reproduction. Efforts must begin at the top and gradually work down. You must not do be in such a great rush, my lord. Wait, wait a second. Let's just trickle down economics. The work you are performing is on a much larger, longer scale than perhaps that of which you are accustomed. You have a point. Let the construction continue. I'm definitely coming to see just how crucial a bit of embellishment can be to surviving in high society. Every engagement is like throwing myself into a lion's den. Everyone surrounding me measuring me up. They question my pedigree, some with their eyes, some with their mouths. Some even attempt to dig up dirt on me in order to tilt the scales in their favor. Oh yeah, this is that one time when I was straight up shouted at, right to my face. You're no more than a dang noble than any of those other guys whose nest you crawled out of, if I recall. I thought he was young. I took the throne by force. It's only natural that people are going to have their suspicions. That I came from the slums is just the icing on the cake. I'm dang lucky if condesc condescen condescension is the worst treatment I get on the first encounter. Then there are the distant relatives barn girl that slip through the cracks, slithering back up to assert their right to the land. There are a lot more people out to get me than I first anticipated. Do I remain strong, my lord? Huh. I'll always be strong. If I so much as let these wolves smell weakness, they'll pounce all over me. Like heck I'm gonna let that happen. I won't have time to work on helping the poor if I have to spend my days spending off packs of bloodthirsty nobles. I must always appear strong, under any circumstances. I, of all people, should know just how easily a lord can be dethroned. 
I'll be next if I leave him in the slightest opening. Oh yeah, this is that. I have to do whatever it takes to make sure that's not my future. Perhaps you should get some rest, my lord. Excuse me? Are you insane? I'm going to review the construction budget so that... Allow me to handle it. I'll get you something to drink. Perhaps a glass of that southern wine you're so fond of? It's quite sweet. Perfect for alleviating built up of fatigue. I'm not fatigued. Come now. Please take this request from an overly concerned consul, my lord. Fine. You win. They revises the construction budget to suit his needs. You, they better not make Odolin more than he appears to be. It's hard to believe it's only been a year and a half. Oh, year and a half left. I feel like we go way back. Oh, ho, ho. we do see each other every day after all. Starting to crave some variety, to be honest. Hmm. Never got a good opportunity to ask you this, but yes. Do you have any family? Because if you do, you're more than welcome to have them live here. I appreciate your concern, my lord. They've all passed away. All of them? Indeed. My entire family was eradicated at the previous lord's order. Once, and only once, they offered him my humble opinion. So infuriated was he by my insolence that he had my family murdered. And I much preferred myself killed in their steed. But he was a man who reveled in other suffering. And he just kept on serving him? That is correct. I acted as his loyal servant, too afraid to speak up again. Acted? Recall what I said when we first met. I was sitting in wait for the perfect opportunity. Now you understand why. Oh. Dang. Then we may come clean about that time. I had every intention of disposing of the Revolution's puppet master. Never once did I trust Geneva. Her foolish motives were plain as day. And as the new lord's mother, she planned to control her planted usurper from the shadows, acting as the effective governor of the land. Having no family left myself, the city and its people are likely my children, or like my children. So I refuse to stand by and allow her to turn them into tools to satisfy my own avarice. The land would hardly survive a tyrant stripping and replace a tyrant. But she was removed from the board by the former lord before she had a chance to see her aspirations to fruition. Knowing she was no longer a danger, Sela would wait and see how the successor fared before taking any further action. To determine if you are sufficient to serve the lord of this, of this land. I can talk. <laughs> I guess I passed, huh? Are you not upset, my lord? Nothing to be upset about. You never hid the fact that you acted in your own interests. That if a piece had no value to you, you discarded it. I always knew there's more than what you're telling me. I'll just say, I'm relieved to, I'm relieved to still be standing here. Ha ha ha. Only you knew how close you were to falling under the other side of that, li that line. Am I really that on the edge? After all the work I've put into this? While you do have a rare aptitude and strength of spirit, you're still much too easily swayed by your emotions. <sighs> Ergo, I shall continue to instruct you until you're able to fully satisfy my expectations. Is he rather curious? So often we speak, so great our time together. I've come to think of you as my second son. Don't get all mushy on me, old man. We're not friends and we're not family. A pawn on your board and you're a pawn on mine. Strictly business. Ho ho ho, my apologies. Never said a word. Hey, hey, never happened. Moving right kind of along. You just keep going. You just keep doing what you do best. At your service, my lord. Out of curiosity, do we have any free hands around capable of riding a horse? For what purpose? There's someone I want found. Oh, Morgana? Whoever it may be you wish to find, my lord, I'm obliged to remind you that. You don't even have to finish that, I know. It's supposed to leave the past in the past. Let us see, then. Your men have their hands rather full at present, but we can perhaps arrange for one of them to be reassigned. Are you sure? It is a small request, but not once in your entire tenure have you requested to use your men for personal matters. I believe we can spare a hand or two on such rare occasions. 
Much appreciated. Shall I arrange for them to set, set off immediately? Please. Looking for a girl? If she's alive, she'll look around 13 or 14. She has unusual markings on her face. Marks, markings akin to burn scars? Barney wants a prisoner in this mansion. Manor. He used her as a prop for his banquets, cutting her up from head to toe. My guess is that the patches on her face are a result of Barnier's abuse. Indeed, I know the girl. I presume she had not survived the slave revolt. I take it you care quite deeply about this girl, my lord. And allow me to offer my sincerest apologies in this deed. No need to apologize. Will you help me find her, other one? I'll oversee the search operation personally to the best of my ability, my lord. I pray the girl is still alive. As do I. Unlikely as it may be. Just chasing after a sli sliver of a dream that shattered long ago. That Yakovo's file is always just so sad. That said, if you do find her alive, bring her here without telling her it's the Lord's order. She'll likely assume it's the old Barney or who's after her if you say anything. If she happens to have found a new home where she's happy, just leave her be. Understood. Time drifted slowly onward. As I anticipated, there's no news regarding her whereabouts, but new shops and stalls continued opening in the city, with them coming a steady flow of travelers and passing merchants. And as traffic through the city increased, so did too the number of people seeking an audience with me, as getting busier by the, day, by the day. My plans to attract merchants and artisans from the capital had worked, every one of them seemed to have a bigger, more ambitious proposition than the last. I don't know if I like the fact that it skipped over a lot of like the political stuff with like the lords, or if I do don't like it. Like, on one hand, like, I want to see that, but on the other hand, like, I think I'd get bored of it after ten minutes. So, I don't know if I, that I'm just cutting it all out, they did a good thing or a bad thing. Might just become a cycle of meetings, reviewing propositions, balancing the budget, deciding whether to proceed or postpone. And that's all the, it's tumult, it's tumult, right? T it's tumultuous, so I said that wrong. Whatever. And that's drifting even ever further from the poorest of my people. Hey! A new background. That's the last of the day's meetings. It's no end deciding this. That's a good thing, my lord. Means you have succeeded in drawing traffic to the city. I guess, but still. <sighs> Let me go back and review all those all these proposals, so Lord Barnier, a moment. I don't have a moment to spare. Townsperson requests an audience with the Lord. You've been instructed to deny entry to commoners. I, I tried, but he refuses to leave the- It's a guardian. To leave the gate. Hold on, what's the man's name? Sir, he calls himself guardian. Oh, stuff, is it really him? Let him in, by all means. My lord, he mustn't give anyone special treatment. Guardian's not just anyone. It's been to hell and back together. We've been- We've been to hell and back together. We wouldn't be here if, he, if it wasn't important. I should hear what he has to say. No, my lord, you cannot. Your past is... He's a good friend. I'm not sending him away. It's not even on the table. Friend or not, you mustn't give him an audience. You're not. You're the lord now. He a mere pe peasant. You cannot be certain he'll hold himself with proper decorum. I don't appreciate what you're implying about my friend, old man. He's not like... He's no goddamn brute. Well, well I mean... <laughs> I impl imply nothing, my lord. Keep your, your, yourself counsel to topics you actually know something about. I'm not going to stand by and listen to anyone insult my friends. Not even you. Oh, I need to take a drink. Okay, here we go. My lord, must I remind you yet again to keep your temper in check? Yeah, that's enough out of you. I'm done. Not another word on this subject. My lord. Hey, guide, open up the gate. Yes, sir. What's up, Jacopo? It's been ages. Feels like forever. How have you been doing? Never been better. How about you, kid? You're not here to kill us, right? Ahem. <clears throat> Show proper respect to your lord, peasant. You're to refer to him as Lord Barnier, not any false names he may have responded to while in hiding. Seriously? Are you gonna let me kick back even for a buddy? Enough, Odolin. You can call me by my old name. But my lord. I said I've heard enough from you. 
Oh, look at you. Taking charge of barking orders is all important, like. You're like a whole new man, my lord. Please, you can use my name. Dead serious, though. I don't believe it ain't, it ain't even been two years. You seriously look like a whole new man. You think so? I don't feel like I've changed at all, all that much myself. I don't know, you just, uh, what's the word? Emanate lordliness now. Yes, it don't take long in the nobles den to turn into one of them. No matter how far down the chain you, you come down, you come from. Look at this room. Look at all these fan fancy freaking furnishings. Now this is the old barnier stuff, is it? Nope. With all the meetings I've been having, I needed to make sure I had a room that was nice and presentable. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, don't you think I'm just throwing around money for the fun of it? If I wanted to pull any, in, I want, if I want to pull, if I want any pull in a negotiation, I need to look like I have. No need to explain yourself, kid. I totally get it. Ain't easy dealing with a bunch of rich, rich folks with sticks up their butts. I, I appreciate it. Anyway, what brings you here today? Well, bud, don't need a reason to visit a friend. Can I get just want to hang out and catch up? Come on. Never said that. Just extremely busy at the moment. I don't have much time to spare for anyone. Come on, don't be such a... Uh, what's a... Tight butt, there we go, that, that's a good one. That's exactly why I'm here. To make sure you don't get that stick up there so deep it punctures your brain. You gotta let loose sometimes. I, I suppose. Thank you for your concern. So let's get sloshed, just like the old days. I mean, brought the booze. I really hope Grotty is just being genuine here. And that this isn't going to turn south very quickly. I wish I could, but I don't have the time. I'll drink with merchants and rich snobs, but not me. It stings, kid. I did the gut. See, as pushy as ever. Alright, fine. One drink. In the back room. Haha, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. My lord. I'll be fine, Olalyn. I go back years. It's nothing wrong with a couple friends sharing drinks after hours. If you insist, my lord, the peasant must leave his blade behind. I will not, under any circumstances, allow you to be alone with an armed slum dweller. Yeesh. Everyone here needs to loosen up, huh? You seriously think I'm going to pull a sword on an old pal? Humor me. Whatever, fine. You win, old timer. Happy now? Oh, he has a sword this bright? I just noticed it for the first time. I was like, oh, he has a sword on him. <laughs> Happy now? I just assumed you'd always had it. Yes. Sorry about that, Grodian. Arlen's always on edge. It's nothing personal. Nah, it's cool. Can't say I blame him. Now let's go get trashed. Please just be genuine. Please just be genuine. Read a little something from the pub we used to haunt. Betcha usually drinks way, way better stuff than this like, now that you're a friggin' lord. But don't be like old times, you know? This reminds me of the time we had the drinking contest. Want to go another round? <laughs> I'll have to refrain. Odalyn would murder me if I did that. Sounds like the geezers got you by the... Is that allowed? Is that allowed? That's like very close. It's... To not... Maybe? He's got you by the balls, huh? I'll all out, I'll all out. No fun allowed up here in the Lord's house. You mean you're rather suffocating, yeah? Well, you can at least let loose today. Dull times, kid. But make sure he drinks first. Dull times. Ding. Now this is a sight I never dreamed of. What was that ding? Oh, the... Hitting the glass, like, cheers. It's true of us in the Lord's Manor drinking together. We are both slaves when we met, for God's sake. Ha ha ha, no freaking joke. Never know what life will bring you. Been almost five years since then. You weren't even 20 yet. I suspect we've both grown quite a bit since those days. Or are you still running around like a wild boar even now? Hard to say. I think I'm as bad as I used to be. Given this stuff kind of comes with the territory, you know? Getting into stuff. And the sums will be the same, are still the same as ever. You see. So how's everyone doing down there? We're scraping by as usual. The rest of the gang? And Maria? You guys are still lazing around in the pub all day. Maria's rebuilt the brothel. She's getting by as best as she can. Obviously not in the same place. It's smaller than the old one. For a chick, she's doing alright for herself. Glad to hear it. So tell me, kid. You only totally had a thing, yeah? Where on earth did that come from? 
We've already told I've I've already told you no we didn't. It seems like she's about ten times more worried about you than anyone else. There must have been something. Don't make sense otherwise. Maybe she just said a thing for you that you and never saw it. Poor girl. There are no remaining feelings on either side. We're friends. Simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Have you seen those hungers? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Just don't make sense to me. I can make I only be friends with a chick. Just means we value certain things in life differently. You know, you like to do that sometimes. Get all weirdly noble like that. And I didn't mean that as a jab. It's nothing to do with being a noble. We're a special. We've known each other most of our lives. We've survived hell together. Oh yeah, you mentioned that before, didn't you? We've two known each other longer than anyone else. What was it like back then for the two of you? Before I met her, Maria was raised in an orphanage. She said she ran off because she and the director didn't get along. Ha! <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. How about you? I... Hardly remember anything before I came to the city. Just bits and pieces of what my mother told me. Being guarded by a bunch of men, being kidnapped by bandits. You mean that noble woman? No shame you had to lose... You had to lose her so soon after you're reuni reuniting, huh? Indeed it is. Ha ha ha. Don't you think it's about time you cut the stuff? Excuse me? You're not a barnier. You didn't inherit the throne. You're just a dank fraud. And that you're right, Jacopo. What are you talking? John again. No. Finally starting to kick in, looks like. Yeah, you got any idea how hard it was to not throttle you through that entire conversation? No. You can't do this to me! Bottom work, I wanna go back! Let me go back, load! Just load happy times! Here, like, yeah! Happy grunt! No! No! You can't do this! Like, I'm actually tearing up a little, like, I don't want this to be the, the reality that this isn't because it's a story, but still! Guardian! Why? God, you get any ha idea how hard it was to not throw to get through that entire conversation? What? Well, start of nowhere, my heart rate skyrocketed and my legs started trembling so violently I had to lean against the wall to support myself. The whole world started swirling. I could just barely make out my old friend glaring at me through the fog. That's a new spray. Well, a new expression. Now you like that. It looks like your heart's about to burst, don't it? Don't you worry, kid. We won't be feeling nothing soon. You... You poison the drinks? Why would you? Why? You seriously need me to spell it out for you? Ha! <laughs> You've been stuffing your head with freaking rainbows up here. You wanna know what they call you down in the slums? Jacopo the Betrayer. Uh, I did not... Betray... Take one goddamn look at the city and tell me that again. All you're up here treating anyone with a card and some trinkets to sell like freaking royalty. The slums are still the same nest you left it. Now we're even worse off now. The New York marketplace, anyone can turn a little bit of money into a big pile of gold. But if you got nothing to begin with, you're just dead in the streets. All you're doing is making the rich even richer. No, I'm trying... I wanted to explain how I had everything planned out. I first needed to improve the economy as a whole before I could turn my attention to the less well-off. Let nothing change and was proof I was protecting them. The slums have been in danger of being eradicated entirely, and I'd stopped it. But I could see it in his eyes that nothing I said would convince him. As far as he is concerned, I was pure evil. You're not the man you used to be. Gradient, why? I thought you believed in me. You're dang right I did. Then you went and fed us a bunch of lies. You called yourself the rightful heir. You called yourself a barnier. I did my digging. You don't got a lick of royal blood in you. All you ever wanted was to line your pockets, you selfish person. No, I... You never had any intention of helping us. Please, hear me out, Grodigan. We're all just pawns to you. This entire, this whole dang revolution is part of your game. I'm begging you. How does it feel? None of your throne sits on the backs of all those people you betrayed. Please. 
You don't have any right to call yourself the god dang lord. Guardian! Heck, you really have any right to call yourself a freaking man. You're just a rat in fancy clothes. Should have been me. I would have made an infinitely better lord than you ever were. I hate it. If only I'd have that ring. It could have been me. That's what this is all about. In a flash, everything I once felt for this man, all the friendship, the camaraderie, the sympathy, went cold. As much as he tried to dress up this whole farce, that was where his heart truly was. It's just sour about not being the one who got to be Lord. He believed every himself superior. He got himself caught up in the stupid fit of jealousy. And now he's trying to kill me over it? Seriously? All this is? Are you listening to a word you're saying? What was that? You're the one who's not the man he used to be. And you're the one who's being a self-centered person. Self-centered jerk, yeah. Talk all you want, dead man. Granny and I knew. Would never resort to using poison. He'd have drawn his sword the second he passed through those gates. Face me like a man. But look at you. Even Barnier had more of a spine than you. You dare compare me to that sack of stuff? Alright, fine. I'll play it your way. Got a knife hit it on him? Instant later, grinding and was brandishing his short blade. Snug it in under his clothes, I presume. I was almost amazed at how thoroughly prepared he was. Never had any intention of this going any other way. He didn't come to talk. This is a sick jam. He's never going to hear me out. He's only here to do one thing and only one thing. I doubt he had any plans for what would come next. Dry hatred was all that fueled him. He wouldn't take my place after killing me. He wouldn't work himself to the bone to ensure the city kept running. He didn't give a single dang about any of that. You're scum. I won't be taken down by some worthless self-absorbed self rat. I think I'd ever try to be enough to best ground in a combat. That's when I had my at my peak. Now, now with the myriad of needles of my of his poison prickling at every, by every pore, barely able to stand under my own weight. But still, I had no intention of surrendering my life to this cur. Oh, he said cur for the first time. I took in a deep breath, clenched my teeth, shouted out my shaking limbs. Move. Move, move, move! Move, dang you! My fingers, I could feel them again. Before the thought push, finished passing through my mind, my hand reached for, the, for a blade. Just being the rapier hanging from the wall, I swiftly drew it from the scabbard. It was a decorative blade, not meant for combat. Probably bounced right off Guardian's muscular chest. But there's one place I could target. Rotten hell, you son of a gun! Knife in hand, he lunged at me. Just moments before death befell me. My vision, blurred by the poison, grew unbelievably clear. Guardian almost appeared to be moving in slow motion. I wasn't sure my mind had ever been so clear, so sharp in battle before. The dying embers of my fading life. Burned anew into her with a into a blazing inferno. Gah! Like my fight with Barnier, this one was over in an instant. Before I had time to breathe or even blink, it was settled. And in that same instant, everything I had built up with this man turned to dust. I never once defeated him. For as long as I had known him, I was always, always, always number two. And now for the first very first time. I won. Why did it have to be you there and not me? The light of the rapier in my hand skewered Grotting's throat. His mouth flapped open and shut like a fish. He glared at me, face tw twisted in a mixture of hatred and agony, sputtering fragments of contempt until the life drained from his eyes. My first victory against my old friend. Also took his life. It all happened in the blink of an eye. How did they enough time to even register in my mind? <sighs> my lord, my lord, what's all that commotion? What happened? <sighs> look, look, can I stop doing breathing sound effects? <sighs> my lord, please stay with me. Were you poisoned? Someone, is anyone there? Y yes, sir. A doctor, as quickly as you can. I. <sighs> my lord, please, my lord. A doctor will be here shortly. Please, stay with me just a little longer. 
My lord! Odolin, you... you were right. I was stupid. I should have listened. Thought he was my friend, but he wasn't. Not anymore. Because we had once been friends, that made him my greatest threat. Why? I knew, like, I, I called this scene happening, didn't I? That Jacobo would be the one to kill Gradian. Like, that much... If Gradian dies, it's obvious it's going to be Jacobo to throw, throw him in his descent to madness. But I thought, like, Gradian will be presented as, like, in the right and Jacobo in the wrong. Not like this. I wasn't prepared for... <laughs> Gradian! Why? I loved you! Do I call it? Yeah, call it there. <laughs> I hate it. Why? The one time this a record for innocence has made me tear up, and it's <laughs> uh, I hate it. I hate it. <sighs> anyway, I'll be back next time. I think I'm gonna get I'm going to do another one today. I just need a break. So I'll be back in like twenty minutes to do another one. See you guys then. Bye.